Good morning. It is Monday, June 19th, and I am here at our local middle school getting restorative practice training. My principal asked me to be a part of a team this year. Um, I'm not quite sure what it entails. I do know what restorative justice um, is. I think I said restorative practice, but restorative justice practice is. I've not seen it fully implemented, but I'm excited to learn more about it. If you have any information on it or if you have any success with it, please comment below so that I can get some ideas from you because this is brand new to us and what we will be implementing in our school. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, June 20th, I believe. I realized yesterday I kind of cut off the video because I get really embarrassed when people watch me or I think that they're watching me. So I was sitting in our school parking lot, not my school, but the school that I had to do the training at, and cars were coming up and parking up next to me, and I just felt really weird. So I had to end the video, and I was going to come out and vlog when it was done. Oh my gosh. I had to go and get gas. I ended up uh, just going home and eating dinner with my family and my boyfriend. Um, but the reason why I just said, oh my gosh, is last night we had a terrible summer storm and I'm driving to the day two of the training and on the road, there's just debris everywhere. I don't believe there were any tornadoes. We don't really get them in Southern Maryland. Um, we have before, um, but none that like touched down in the Southern region. It's more like the Northern end of the County. Like I said, I'm on my way to day two of the training. It is at a local middle school that's kind of in the middle of our county, so it's great for the teachers that are in the northern end and the southern end to just be in the middle. Um, but I wanted to talk about the training. So I mentioned yesterday that it was for restorative practice and restorative justice, and I'm really sorry, I'm gonna apologize now if I'm not in frame because I'm vlogging with my camera up on my windowsill. But if it's really that bad, then I just will film this again when it's done for day two. Yesterday's training was about building a circle. And I I took that as like, oh, you can do this during morning meeting. You can do this whenever there's a problem arising in your classroom. You can do this at the end of the day to have a reflection. Um, but it was all about building a circle and what sitting in a circle stands for. How you are equal with your students, whether you are all sitting in stools chairs or all on the floor um, but you should feel equal with your students they should feel equal with you you are not their teacher you are not a facilitator you are a circle keeper and that just means that you are managing the circle but not um, dictating the circle I guess you could say and the other things we learned was that there has to be a talking point or a talking piece um, but see, like, teachers do this anyway. So it's a trainer that came in from Chicago uh, Police Department, and she's super sweet, super nice, very knowledgeable. Um, but the training is going by super slow. I'm turning into the bank right now. I need to find out how much I have in my account because um, I haven't eaten breakfast. I need to make sure I can afford breakfast. <laughs> Teacher broke. All right, so today was the end of day two restorative justice practice or training, I guess. Um, it was a lot better today than it was yesterday. I think I was feeling a little anxious yesterday to get started and to learn more. Um, but we were put in certain um, positions where you have to talk. And the whole point of the circle is you're allowed to... I mean, not the whole point, but like part of the circle guidelines are that you can pass if you don't want to talk. But the way our trainer is doing it makes me feel like I have to speak. And I, I really don't like that, but that's what's been going on. And especially today, we were asked the question, um, who inspires us most? And of course, like I break down and cry because my mother is my inspiration. And I know she's going to watch this. Um, I love my mommy, even though I wear my sassy pants every day. We both wear our sassy pants every day, but we love each other. Um, so yeah, that happened. And that was a little embarrassing to have to like break down and cry in front of my colleagues. But I, that's, they're trying to prove the point of the restorative circle to us so that we implement it and we can emulate that in our classrooms, which is good practice. Like that's what it is. It's good practice. Do I want to be doing it in front of my colleagues? No. Do I have to? Apparently. That's the way we're like being presented this with this information. And I'm sorry. I just, 
I don't like, I am an introvert when it comes to these sort of things. I don't like getting put into two situations that I'm not comfortable in. And again, it goes, brings me back to the whole point of one of the guidelines is that you don't have to talk if you don't want to, but the way that our trainers kind of making us feel is that we all have to talk. And I guess some people are able to, um, put themselves, I want to say like their minds out of the circle, but their bodies are in the circle with us and they're able to take the emotional aspect out of it. And I am just simply not that person. Um, I am all in or all out. Uh, tomorrow will be interesting. I don't really understand why this has to be a four day training either. It's going by so slow. And honestly, I feel like all we do is icebreakers and answer questions like that takes us most takes up most of our time and because we have about 25 people in our group it takes a long time in order to get through all of the answers and have everybody answer the questions and to get through everyone's stories I don't know if it was a smaller group it would obviously go by quicker but it's just taking some time I am going to waste time at Target right now my boyfriend gets off work at five o'clock it's only four and then we are going to the pub so I will catch you guys all tomorrow. See you guys then. Bye. So it is the last day of training that I had to do. And just to recap, since my camera's being dumb, um, we had to do a restorative justice training. So if anybody has any ideas or comments and concerns about restorative justice or restorative practices, leave them in the comments below because I'd love to have a conversation with you about it now that I've done the training. And my training was a four day event that allowed us to become certified in like circle keeping. And that's the whole point of the restorative justice process is to hold a circle, keep a circle, um, know what the circle means. And if you have no idea what I'm talking, it, Google can be your best friend. Um, right now I am going to get my car washed and vacuumed out. I am also going to make a return at Target and then drive back down the road to do a Facebook Live video for my LuLaRoe business. Um, Kelly has to work tonight, so I'm doing this one alone. Ian is thankfully gonna join me and record um, the information like when people buy stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to Ocean City for my friend's birthday. Saturday we have to get up and leave Ocean City to be at Six Flags for Ian's staff picnic. Um, that will be quite the adventure. Okay, I now have to slow down because of construction. Bye y'all.